Hello Car Junkies, I'm Dan, aka Video Dan on the Car Junkie Forum. Now, you guys, I asked for some help. I put down there resurrection advice needed and all you guys like the Silver Buick and Rebel Driver and uh, Diesel Geek. You guys gave me a lot of advice and I really appreciated it, but what you really pointed out was how little I know about mechanics. You know, I, I know a lot about cars. Uh, in fact, all these... All these car things on the back of my, my van, I don't have all these in the van. These are all segments I've done for different TV shows. So I know about cars. I know, I know foreign. I know domestic. I know standard equipment. I know a lot about classic cars. Uh, I mean, from, from AMX to Zagato, I, I know cars. I just don't know mechanics. I've never really had to know mechanics until now. Uh, that's why I'm hoping that you guys are going to help me out. So I halfway blame the predicament I'm in on guys like you. The guys that can, you know, pull the cam out and uh, take the carb off and tweak it or, or adjust the valves or any of that kind of stuff. Because I figured, hey, you know, I'm around those guys all the time. It's got to be kind of easy. So when I was out running, like I do every day, as you can tell by my stunning physique, and I came across this beauty sitting in a garage and the guy said, yeah, it hasn't run in like 30 years. And I was looking at it going, Pfft, how hard can it be to make it run? I know guys that do it all the time and then all of a sudden I... Plop my money down and and here she is and now I gotta get her rolling or you know what good is it? Okay, so here's my baby. Here's what you guys are gonna be helping me get on the road. At least I hope you will. Here she is, a 1964 Cutlass. Okay, so here's my goal. I want to spend as little money as possible getting this beauty up, running, and rolling down the road. Now, the things I can do, I want to do. I have to do. The things I can't do, well, I want to know about it before I go too far down that road or mess something up, you know? Uh, I mean, I don't know. You guys know. I need some help. Am I asking too much? And while I was putting the tires in, a car junkie member logged in to say, hey, don't forget to tighten those lug nuts when you drop it down and the tires are on the ground again before you drive off. First of all, I appreciate the wishful thinking. And second of all, this is exactly the kind of help I'm talking about. So here's the heart of the beast. 330 cubic inches, assuming it's the original engine, which I have no reason to believe it's not. Also high compression, which means I've got to run premium gas. Woo. Here's a crime. Look at this. They cut this ring, and I don't know exactly what this is either. It goes over to the vacuum lines and somewhere. Can I get rid of this? Because it's ugly. Let's take a quick look and see what we got here. Now, the Car Junkie Forum, one of the first things they told me, the smart thing to do was to take out all the spark plugs and spray some penetrating oil inside each one of the cylinders and then let it sit for a day or so. And I mean really spray it around so get like one of them little tube things, some WD-40 or something, and make sure you get it in, in both sides. They said to do that and let it sit for a day, then somehow get to that pulley down there that I was trying to figure out. So it looks like I'm going to have to take all this fan guard stuff off and see if you can get the engine to turn over. If you can get it to turn over, then it's not frozen. If it's not frozen, they said you have a good chance of getting it to start, which that's my goal, is to get it to start. So I guess that's, that's one thing to do. Now, another thing they said is if it does turn over and if it's not frozen, then before you actually try to get it running, that all the valves and all this sort of stuff that's underneath the valve covers, uh, they're all dry. There's no oil in them. So what they... I think it was Rebel Driver and Silver Buick and Diesel Geek and all the guys that I'm forgetting about that were helping me on the resurrection advice needed. Every one of them said you have to pull the distributor out, stick this tool down into the distributor hole, and then run it with a drill, and then that will uh, make the oil pump work and get all the oil going through there. They even said take the valve covers off so you can make sure they're going through the, the valves. 
which that sounds a little complicated to me because you know the, the few times I tried to be a mechanic when I was in high school I one time I put this thing on backwards and I had the wires all messed up and I couldn't figure out where they went and I ended up having to go to a real mechanic and spending money I didn't have to, to get my 64 bug running again and there was only four wires and there's eight here so now the carburetors I mean it's it's looking okay this is the thing that's kind of funky look at this this used to be a nice rubber gasket and now it's not and that's like the, the something or other that's the accelerator pump or something is that going to work without the little rubber gasket on it am I going to have to rebuild the carburetor I tell you I checked into carburetor <laughs> rebuild kits and they're like 30 bucks for a kit to completely rebuild that carburetor and I said 30 bucks how much does it cost to rebuild the carburetor itself well that's more like four hundred and fifty dollars so I'm wondering does that mean there's a lot of skilled labor involved in rebuilding these carburetors is this something that I can do with some car junkie help or not I don't know there's there's another poll for us to look at I've got my work cut out for me <laughs> appreciate your guys help uh, when we come back the next time I'll have got the oil into the cylinders I'll get everything uh, taken off I'll get the fan guard ready I'll have put the ratchet right on the pulley and I'll begin to start doing it and you can see just like me whether I've got a frozen engine or whether something's gonna run and be running sweet I want to thank you guys for watching I want to thank you for all the help you've given me and remember when you see me rolling up this sweet car at the next car junkie tv.com event the beers